Hi! Good morning guys! This is Cora at Fun and Adventure. Today's topic is uh, how to make a DIY summer hat in this hot summer season. First, uh, there are three steps. First, to make the pattern. So, we will follow the three steps. First step is to measure the diameter of the head. Do like this. So, mine is 16. So, the depth of the hat is we measure from the hairline to the top of the eyebrow, above the eyebrow. So, mine is 7. And the third step is we measure our head circumference. So, mine is 52. So, we have the diameter 16. Uh, the depth of the head is 7. And the circumference of my head is 52. But I think this is a standard size. Usually hats measure like this. The sizes are like this. So now, we start to make the pattern. By this band paper, I fold. This is long band paper. I fold like this and like this. And then use a ruler from this point measure eight and then another eight and then eight so just to make it consistent eight oh we will now make a mark for our guide in cutting so I have to cut this is now the the basic on top of the hat the round one so after we make the the depth is also 8, so we do like this, it by 8, make sure it by 8. So by eight, our circumference is fifty two. So fifty two one half is twenty six. So one half of twenty six because we fold it four times is thirteen. So this is thirteen. We just make a mark, a curve, a little bit curve. So this is eight, eight centimeters here. Oh, eight. So cut. This is this straight one is the side of the pole. This is pole. So the third step is we, we make the brim. So this one, the brim is we just measure from here. 
So this is 15. So this one na uh, the fold. This is the upper part. This one is the upper part. This will attach here. And then this part, this part here is 15. So we measure 15. Uh, so like this. We just make a mark. This is the brim. The brim of the hat. So, if we like the brim to be big, so make it bigger. But for me, I, I prefer my brim just 8 inches. So let's do the mark. Then cut. So the straight, the straight side is this is the fold because we we are folding also the material when we cut. So go like this. So one, one, two, three. So our pattern is complete. Now we will cut. We'll cut the the main material. I place here paper lining so that it is more stiffer. It's not so soft to wear. So it's like this. So we cut like this. And like this. There are two because the other one is the inside one. So that our hat looks clean and beautiful you have to give allowance when you cap just give uh, like Half, half an inch allowance for the sewing the other one the paper lining is not intact so we'll make another one Again, we'll give allowance for the sewing when we cut. So we have two like this now, two. So let's cut the circumference of the hat here. The next layer. like this because there are there are two 
So remember, this is the fold here. Here the fold. We do like this. So let's mark. For the sewing, make a little cut from here so that we will know that this is the center. So now we cut already the next layer to here. So Cut the brim now. This is the brim. So this is the fold. And we do like this. With, uh, because the brim is wider. So that it is very comfortable to wear. And also nice. So this is our center. You have to cut mark. So we have finished our cutting. So we have already the brim, the round one on top, and the one the circumference of the head. So now let's start sewing. So we start the sewing. Tuck this one so that it will not move. Yes, done. So this one, we tap this one. this already the other one again we saw this one Also, 
sur la peine. Then we also join this one. natin to para hindi gagalaw like this tapos tatahiin na panda rito kaya this side here little bit to make the shape more emphasized So we have to enter.
Well done. See? Then we saw it back here. Almost done. The dream here because it's extra, there is some extra here. We need this also to cover the stitches inside. We can sew just like this.
it's done. Just put this one inside like this so that when you wear it, Thanks for watching!